Hey, this is Brian with the Seat Shop, and today we're talking about a couple different attachment methods that are used to hold the seat cover onto the foam cushion, and what happens when you're pulling the cover off if it pulls that attachment off of the foam cushion. So it's a pretty easy fix, but it's pretty common too. So uh, the most common one is going to be Velcro. So there's Velcro that's hooked onto the foam cushion, and then there's the fuzzy side of the Velcro is sewn to the underneath side of the cover. So sometimes if you're not, you know, getting a new foam cushion and you're having to reuse your old one. Uh, this velcro will peel off. So this part here is actually supposed to be adhered and embedded into the foam cushion right there. So you'll want to get a spray adhesive. This is a, uh, it's called Dantac. This is one of the, you know, extra can I use. We have some different glue that we use in our spray pneumatic guns. But for a can, this stuff's really good. If you're working on it on a Saturday and you don't have time to order this on Amazon, if you don't have time to get it on Amazon, you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and 3M's got a whole different line of, of glues. This spray adhesive works well too. Uh, but I usually use this if, I, if I'm not using my pneumatic gun. Um, but literally just spray glue in the channel and on the back side of the, of the, uh, the Velcro. Now I would coat the whole thing, but we're gonna literally you just push it down into the foam. And you really wanna give it some time to set up. If you got you know air compressor, spray some air, let it dry, really good. Make sure it's set up really good and firm before you put the new cover on. The new cover is going to have some tension pulling up against it when you put it on. That's what keeps the makes the cover have the nice contours and everything was installed because this this seam is going to sit really deep in that crevice there and it's going to have a nice contour shape to the foam cushion. If you put it on there and the glue hadn't set up and hardened yet, it's going to peel right back up and then your cover is going to look like a Walmart baggy. You know you don't want that to happen. So the other attachment method they have. The Chevy uses this is quite a bit. This 2007 they changed to this and run all the way through current. There's little plastic tabs that are embedded into the foam. So on the underneath side of the cover, there's a uh, fabric strip with a piece of plastic on the end of it that hooks into this little channel. So when you get to spread this apart when you're pulling it up, when you're trying to take the cover off, but when you're putting the cover on, it just pushes down and then it clicks into place. Well, two things can happen. Sometimes this corner could be peeled up, like this whole clip could be starting to pull out of the foam or you can have some of the at the bottom of this plastic piece here it can crack and so it doesn't hold together real tight so when you push the uh, clip from the cover down into the channel this doesn't hold it and lock it into place so two things if it's just peeled up in the back you can spray some glue to glue it back down if it actually is cracked and it's not holding you can go ahead and peel this up and take your handy zip tie you can peel this back up, you could stick your zip tie down in there underneath it, put that back down, spray glue that back into place, let that harden up real well, and then you can run the zip tie through the fabric strip that's on the underneath side of the cover, and this can run through that and zip tie and pull it tight so you can anchor it all the way down. That way you don't have an uh, anchor point that's just floating there, that way it holds it down deep into the cover like it's supposed to. But it's an easy workaround if it's Saturday, you don't have extra orange clips laying around. Uh, you can use a zip tie, but you're definitely going to need to have some spray adhesive. Definitely something you need to have when you're doing an install because you don't know what you're going to get into until you get the cover off. And if you don't have any spray glue, it's going to take a whole lot longer to get that project finished up. If you got any other questions, feel free to give us a call and like always, check us out on all the social media channels. Thanks guys.